Good morning, everybody. It's Wednesday, the 27th of January. It's fabulous to see you. I hope you had a great sleep last night and you're ready to go. I wonder if you can guess what special day it is today. There's a big clue here. That's right, that's Casey. And today is Wellbeing Wednesday. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Wellbeing Wednesday. Today is a day where we want you to step away from your screens. You've been working so hard, but we want to get you away from the screens for a day, doing some things that will make you a well-being. And we've given you lots of ideas, but first I'm going to play a game with Mrs. Dormer. There are five things you should do to have or be a well-being. And I'm gonna give Mrs. Dormer clues. She's going to guess what I'm doing and we'll see if she's right. So are you ready, Mrs. Dormer? This is my first I'm clue. Ready. If you want to be a well-being, you need to... Eat chocolate. Not quite. <gasps> are you giving me something? Give. The first thing you need to do is give. Fabulous. And children, on your Wellbeing Wednesday menu, there are three activities for gifts that you could choose from. If it was me, I think I would choose making a card for somebody who is a key worker. I know someone who works at Milton Keynes Hospital and I would make a card for her because she's working really hard at the moment. Well done, Miss Thomas. So you got give. This is my second thing you need to do to have or be a well-being. Hmm. Be an amazing teacher. Am I not already an amazing teacher, Mr. P? Hmm. Are you learning? I'm keeping learning. Oh. Learning helps me to be a well-being. Super. Well, children, again, there are three activities to choose from. And if it was me, I think I might choose to read my recipe book, read the instructions and make something delicious. OK, don't get too excited, but I'm about to get up. This is your third clue, Mrs Dormer. To be okay. a well-being, you need to... Quickly! Can we make him keep going, children? See if you can get tired. Do you think it's be active? Be active. You need to be active, Mrs. Dormer. You do indeed. And I have a challenge for you. One of the one of the tasks on your menu is: Can you design and make an obstacle course for somebody else to have a go at? You could use anything around your house. Do you remember last time we had lockdown? I did. Um, hitting a, a ball of socks up with a frying pan. I wonder if that could be in your, in your obstacle game. So give, keep learning, be active and... Hmm, I'm looking very carefully at that flower. I wonder what you're doing. Are you noticing something? I'm taking notice. Oh, fabulous, isn't it wonderful, children, sometimes just to relax and look around us. I wonder today if one of the things you might do is do this. This is in your pack and this is a scavenger hunt, a nature scavenger hunt. Lots of things that you have to find outside. Maybe you could do that on your daily exercise. Okay, and the final thing, this is your clue. I'm going to do something special with my pen. So just please be patient. Okay. I've made something very special. I'm going to hand it to you. Are you ready? Here you go. <gasps> Surprise. Oh, it says thank you. Oh, look, children, Mr. P has written me a message. It says, thank you for being a brilliant friend. <gasps> Isn't that lovely? I think Mr. P is being connected, just like we have been with our Invisible String story. 
and our positivity jar and our bracelet. I wonder today, maybe sometimes being connected is spending special time with somebody. Maybe you could do a puzzle or play a game with somebody that you live with. That would be lovely. Now we really hope you enjoy all the activities of Wellbeing Wednesday. And I have a little extra challenge for you. Remember the positivity jar from last Friday? I wonder if you can find lots of positive things that you do today that you could put into the jar to remember all the fun that you have.